Namaste Virgo, Summer Rising and Venus Placement. Welcome to my channel. This is Ashwa Magical. Thank you very, very much for tuning in and choosing to be here. Obviously, I truly, truly appreciate that. Um, if you have not already, do like, share and subscribe. That is always good to hear and good to say. Anyhow, uh, of course, welcome to your general reading. This is Kind of a special one i'm doing kind of this for the first time since i got my channel virgo this is a big energy check in for your sign for the next three months including november december and january playing a little bit of tarot playing a little bit of oracle just to have it a more deeper picture what's actually going on so it is a general as i have mentioned Virgo. so um, this may or may not resonate with you okay take only with us and apply it to your situation uh, if you recognize this is not my story, then obviously it is for somebody else. And in case this is not your reading at all, then maybe you should check your other placements. That's always good to hear and say. So let's see. Let's see what is coming in with you, Virgo, for you, Virgo, through you, Virgo. Let's see everything that we need to see right here, right now. If you are wishing a personal reading with me, Virgo, we can make that happen. Have a look into the description box and feel free to contact me. Anyhow, make yourself comfortable and just enjoy the show. That is the most important thing. We will start with some overall energy for you. Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is Earth energy, your energy in this case. Six of Pentacles is, I feel like, big transformation for you. Uh, some of you, you might be learning about equal give and take, what it actually means. It can be that um, you are getting an offer at this period of time, which might require you to work on a basis or equal give and take. Um, you know, with that eight in the background, it's also sigil, um, sigil for infinity and karma. And, you know, definitely that storyline of what goes around comes back around. So uh, I feel like this is almost kind of a, a little warning for you to pay attention how much you give, to not overgive, to not give less and then expect a lot. You know, that kind of stuff, just to be fair and play it fair because um karma sees everything and everybody so your messages starting with november we have the moon pisces major arcana number of eight scene equality of nine uh something is coming to a close and with that happening something is coming to a close you also have the six of swords which is telling me it's coming to a close that you are breaking free from something or in this case probably somebody and you are choosing to walk away why because you can and you probably had enough um, you might be feeling stuck in some type of a situation where probably maybe you are not getting that feeling of equality and fairness and um, this may already even happen for a lot of you you are deciding to walk away to leave this behind and you know with that ending, something is coming to light and bringing in the clarity. That is also the energy of the moon, uh, bringing in the balance. We can see the black and the white wolf standing across each other. Yeah. You figured something out, definitely. I would get to clarify and see more into that. December is showing two of wands and the wheel of fortune. Okay, so something special is happening here for you because some faded events, situation, um, whatever it might be for you, it might even be, you know, it can come in so many forms, but something that is faded is always the energy of the Wheel of Fortune. It's coming to you in the month of December and it has to do with balance because, again, we're seeing the black and the white across each other uh, you might be a great fan about you know combination black and white colors um, I see that you are 
healing and recovering from, um, you know, I feel like this was a tough decision, even though you, you probably knew I want this, I need this. It felt, it felt kind of tough. And um, it looks like you're healing with the two wands because... You're not putting your focus and intention into this person, the situation, the relationship, what has happened, but it's there. And that is that one in the background. So uh, it's like you're healing and recovering from that and you're going through that process, which is totally fine. There is something that you are strongly holding into. Uh, in most cases, it is opinion, it is a belief system or just a decision. The decision that you want to walk away, that is what you wanted, that is what you needed, Virgo. It can be that this person is coming back around at you and you are just sticking into that like, no, it's period, it's no more chances, whatever the case might be. Some of you might be traveling because two of wands, that fire energy can often signify traveling and, you know, motion, movements, action. But you're definitely focusing into future and what is yet to come. Um, you definitely don't want to give another chance to this person. Um, and, you know, whatever is coming to light, whatever you have figured out or you will, I feel like you might even be assuming about a third party or something that they did uh, that just... Um, it's like, I feel like it hurts you because it felt disrespectful and you won't allow that shit as a Virgo. So moving into January, Ace of Pentacles, great earth energy with the King of Pentacles, earth energy again. Uh, you know, that King of Pentacles can represent you, Virgo, stepping into that zone, into that mood, getting your security, your stability, your peace of mind, uh, very loyal energy, loyal to yourself, you know, to respect your own boundaries and to not allow anybody come near you who does not respect it as well. Um, so it can either be your energy or somebody else's energy who is coming across as the King of Pentacles. That can also be a possibility. Whatever the case may be, this may be something that has to do with business, with career, something personal, maybe even building a relationship, you know, whatever kind of relationship, a business partner or something. But anyhow, it's, it's getting quite successful. It has a lot of potential with the Ace of Pentacles uh, to have great results, actually. So let's start clarifying for you, Virgo, and see where this is actually going. Yeah. I have maturity going in the reverse. I feel like it's not about you, uh, but I feel like the decision that you brought with the Six of Swords to leave is a mature one because you were definitely dealing with somebody who is very immature. You were not getting along with this person. I also have morals falling on the ground in a reverse. So it was like conflicts fighting about, you know, different way of thinking, different opinions, not on the same page, like not getting along. But you two obviously were projecting into each other. I have the clarification with kindness and compromise. So it's almost like the compromise was needed because, you know, why and when do we need compromise? To compromise with other people when we are not the same opinion. You know, like agreeing for not agreeing. And that's fine, like, as long as we get to respect each other. But this person did not do that. So you decided to... Um, Leave that story, obviously, behind yourself. Uh, compromise could not come through. That is what I'm picking up. Um, and, you know, with the kindness message, is a little bit projecting was obviously there, mirroring each other. Uh, you know, that is that similarity, but still the differences, but still we are yet similar. And, you know, I feel like this might be something that was um, connecting you, but at the same time, like... Um, distancing you from each other at the bottom of the deck we have going with the flow which did not happen obviously uh in at least in the it did not appear to happen like that but uh, maybe with you bring that decision your flow may get started flowing 
Let's move into December. Mm. Excuse me about that. I was talking to my messages. We have understanding with possibilities as a clarification. A lot of possibilities are opening up to you. And I feel like this can even be in a lot of different areas into your life. Um, you know, business, career, job, personal connections, friendships, and relationships. But there is a possibility coming in December for you. And I feel like end of December, before New Year starts, that will be faded for you. You know, maybe to meet somebody Meet somebody. Uh, maybe that is that King of Pentacles. Who knows? But uh, this is this is faded. Like, um, yeah. And with understanding is like, you know, description of the two wands that you get to understand why you did walk away and maybe understand that um, you are recovering from that and that it still has some kind of a weight on you. Just understanding the situation. And again, we have, um, at the bottom of the deck, we have, this is not the wheel, but very similar energy. It's like, it's like the source. Look how bright it is. And we have projection underneath that, which I was telling you about you and the other person mirroring each other. Okay, I feel like you will get to understand uh, maybe not only their point of view, but also you will see what this person meant while communicating with you, while po pointing finger at you, what that was talking about them. But you will also get to realize and understand what it was about you, Virgo. How do you get to see yourself? Um, I feel like a lot of you, you might be traveling somewhere. Maybe for a celebration, New Year, or just to relax a little bit. Maybe something which has to do with your business. And there is, there is some potential and possibilities opening up for you to, to experience something that is just meant to be. And that is definitely also bringing balance. And yes, that can also be another person with whom, again, you can build a partnership in your work or something more insane. Ace of Pentacles with the King of Pentacles. For January, we have the Tower. Scorpio energy, we have rebel, Aquarian energy, and we have habits at the bottom of the deck. Um, I feel like there are definitely some habits that you need to break off and cut through for your success to come in, for your results to come through. <clears throat> we have a happening event situation that will do a little bit of shake up for you. Uh, that might push you into the energy of the King of Pentacles. If this is you, once again, the roles can be reversed. <coughs> or just to push you into meeting this person. And, uh, you know, if this is another person, this person is motherfucking great. Because this person is loyal. This is not somebody who will mess around. I feel like they're quite intelligent, quite strong individually. Um... quite authentic and with the rebel I feel like this is the this is something that is telling us about this person and I'm really picking up that feeling more and more that this is somebody who you will meet who you may be manifested who you um you know it, it will be such a it will be it will feel like an accident like running into each other and just oh you know 
Maybe just watch too many movies. I don't know. But I feel like this is describing the King of Pentacles who might be having some Aquarius in their chart. But, you know, again, very, very individual, very independent, very authentic, very... I feel like this is somebody who is great looking, very attractive person and quite intelligent, very wise, you know, very free spirit. But again, on the other side, like very stable and confident and calm and, you know. Okay. Let's have a look into some advice for you, Virgo, on a monthly base here. Transform, release what no longer serves you, embrace the change that are happening. Yeah, yeah, you are leaving this person you were dealing with behind and that is causing your transformation and change because um, obviously it was a right decision at that period of time. And again, I feel like for a lot of you this already happened. We are passing for December. This situation is coming to a close soon. It's time to move on to the next thing. And I feel like it's coming to a place close that you leave the energy of the two wands that that second wand actually falls out of the picture it's coming to a close you're healing your recovery as well and we have for january psychic what you suspect is really the truth trust your gut feelings look for a sign you know i feel like this is almost like the person you will get to meet is like too good to be true <laughs> that is what, what what is coming through me while I was reading this sentence. Like, what you suspect is really the truth. Trust your gut feelings. Look for signs. In case you have not already, like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate that. Join in the community and the family. this one too this could be the one this could be the one yeah they could have been the one and maybe you thought this is my person this is the one with whom I am meant to stay this is my love partner it can be that you were in a long committed relationship with this person I don't get much of a feeling on and off with this person. I really feel like you were committed with this person, to this person, and they as well. Maybe until they were not. But anyhow, I feel there is more like that um, conflict, you know, of, of logical, of the minds, of we don't get each other on that level, you know. So yeah, they could have been. And we have new love, new love, new love for December. So definitely somebody coming in. Um, and again, uh, you know, the Wheel of Fortune, that faded event with possibilities can create um, some new energies coming into your life. And we have January 2 messages. Let the control go. Allow the situation to evolve naturally. Get to know each other. Yeah, this is definitely new love. This is definitely somebody you attracted, somebody you manifested, somebody who might happen to be a life partner. <sighs> Maybe an earth sign, Virgo. Your fellow earth sign with some Aquarius in their chart. But, you know, it will catch you off guard. That's why I was feeling that... Um, example that was giving to you you know like coming out of nowhere out of the blue meeting by an accident and being like oh yeah you know like crossing at each other meeting each other <sighs> this is like you know I'm, I'm i'm feeling it very much here for you i'm having a scenario in my head and i'm feeling the goosebumps and getting red already you know that kind of stuff <laughs> Uh, 
So yeah, don't don't push this. Don't push this. Just go with the flow. Allow it to just happen naturally and come to you naturally. And get to know each other. Be open for that. Don't scare off this person. That is a little bit of the energy that I'm getting with. Let the control go. I'm honest here. I'm always honest. Sometimes it costs me a lot. But yeah, I've learned my lessons. Still learning, still learning. Okay. So let's have a look into some um, love universe messages for you. You were born with that it quality. That's your Virgo. You have it all, baby. You are destined for greatness on the wings of love. Enjoy your extraordinary uniqueness. Give yourself much more credit. Pucker up, buttercup. Genuinely kind. Being genuinely kind will make you love magnet. That is a very important message. You have what it takes. So don't doubt yourself. Be open and let it go with the flow. Don't push it. Don't judge it way too fast. Don't bring conclusions way too fast. And enjoy that King of Pentacles, Virgo. I hope this resonates. Please let me know in the comment section if you're willing to take some time to do that. I will appreciate it. Um, thank you very, very much for being here and sharing a little bit of time and energy with me. Truly appreciate that as well. And I will catch you guys soon. Take care, Virgo. Bye.